Saturday and happy Vlogmas Day 21. We're almost done with this. Can you believe like Christmas is in like a few days away? It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, like four days away till Christmas. I can't believe it. So today is Saturday and I've been working all day. I actually logged in at I think like 4.50 this morning. It was about 10 till 5 a.m. And I just logged off at 1.45. I may actually log back on later, but I really needed a break. My gosh, I needed a break. And I have some errands that I have to run. So I thought I would log off and do those errands. And I may log back on later and work a little more. I don't know, but I may. But I thought... I would do a little update. Um, we've been doing this one room living for a while. Uh, we left Florida. Um, well, I left about the beginning of October and we've been staying with my son and daughter-in-law while we save up the money to find our own house. Now, if you know anything about moving, <laughs> moving is expensive because you gotta have money to apply for a place, uh, deposits, rent. Some people want two months rent. Oh my God, it's crazy. We've looked at a few houses, but you know, our goal was to be out by April. And so we're not trying to rush anything. We're just kind of seeing what's out there. But I thought I would do a little update on how this whole one room living is going so uh, first I'm going to show you like kind of still have we have how we have the room set up kind of talk you through how we're managing to live our entire life in one room so first when you come in the room the dresser is actually being used as our TV so this is kind of our living room it's where we binge watch TV my computer over there, it, that thing gets tossed around everywhere. Sometimes it's on the bed, sometimes it's on the dresser, sometimes it's on the chest of drawers, sometimes it's downstairs in the room where I'm set up to work. Um, it's everywhere, it just wherever. So this corner over here is kind of our, our laundry center. We have Brianna's TV here because two things. One, we didn't want to leave it in a storage building because through the winter we didn't want it to be exposed to like extreme cold and the closet that I use is actually a storage room but it has no heat in it so we don't want to put it out there either so this is kind of my little laundry center and then of course we have our bed and the chest of drawer over here is kind of a little bit of a catch-all Right now, it's housing um, my planners, where I'm getting all of my planners set up for 2020, and my current little books I'm working in, my little workbook I'm doing, and my little guided journal. And then this right here is just kind of like a little area where we keep like all of our junk. I keep like my makeup face washes in there. A camera bag my brush Henry keeps like all his junk in there so it's kind of like a little makeshift bathroom area uh, out here in this closet that has no heat it's still kind of like a storage that's my closet so that's all my clothes hanging up and this is where I keep all of my surplus of beauty supplies Planner supplies, all my books, my purse, my hair dryer. That's like kind of storage area over there where we have all of our fishing stuff. We call this the closet of shame because this is where we keep the scales and where we come in here and, you know, keep it honest with ourselves about our, how we're doing with our diet and stuff. This is my little makeshift beauty guru center it's where i have like all my morning and nighttime skincare my little makeup my little perfumes look at there 
Yes, my Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. And then over here is where I keep my, my vacuum and my broom. So, that's just kind of it for this room. And then in the bathroom, we do share the bathroom with the girls. So I'll kind of show you how we have that set up a little bit. They use that sink over there. You can see the little baby toothbrushes. And so this is our sink. I bought at Home Goods these little Mickey Mouse Christmas towels for us to have. And this little basket over there. And then I just kind of, these are my little gnome towels. <laughs> I love these little gnome towels because there's no place I'd rather be. And then I just have this set up down here with our towels and just like my cleaning supplies and Bath and Beauty products. So, and then I just come in here every morning and do my little fly lady, um, my little swish and swipe. So we have this sink that we share with the girls, which we're really fortunate that this bathroom is big. It has dual sinks, so they have theirs, we have ours. And I have our little Mickey Mouse Christmas towels to make it a little festive. And then in our bedroom, we tried to make it a little festive since we don't have our own house and we can't really decorate for Christmas. Um, I hung this little snowman up in the window, if it'll zoom in. I honestly don't know if it will because it's in a window, but let's see here if we can get this. There he is. And it just says welcome, which is kind of an odd thing to be having hang up in your bedroom window. But, you know, <laughs> this is our house for right now. This is all we've got. So, and pardon my mess, I've been wrapping gifts. But on the bed, we got these, uh, these cute little pillows at Home Goods, and they say Merry Christmas. And of course, that's the good old state of Georgia. It would be cute if one of them actually had a state of Florida and a state of Georgia, because even though we came back to Georgia, your girl still loves Florida. Just a little bit. Even though Georgia will always be home. So, we got those little Merry Christmas pillows. And to match them at Home Goods, we got this little plaque. This is Merry Christmas, and it's the state of Georgia, too. So, this is pretty much... And then I have some mess over there where I was uh, wrapping gifts. I gotta cut this light off and turn the, close my door, but uh, pretty much this is it. So, so far it's going pretty good, but this is how we have our one room living set up. So we basically have an entire house worth of living here, except we do share the kitchen with them. And then of course I have my work station set up downstairs. So I ran my errands and got everything done. I've got to pick up two gift cards and I don't, I'm at Kroger, but I don't know if they have the specific gift cards that I need, but otherwise I need to get some fuel in the car and head back home. But I did get a peppermint mocha from Starbucks, so I'm happy about that. I feel weird sitting here in the parking lot talking to my phone, but isn't that what people do these days? Like, they vlog from their car, because that's what I'm doing. But, um, no, I just, I kind of, uh, kind of wanted to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog so that I can get it up, because I missed putting a, a vlog up for the 19th, but, um, so anyway, you saw that's kind of how we have our little setup for our, um, a little one room living and so it's working out but the emotional impact of one room living is probably a little more difficult than the physical impact um, physically it works fine I mean me and Henry were pretty simple folks and we don't really need that much so we do fine to not have a lot um, 
but emotionally is a little different I have to say I uh, I miss my things and that sounds crazy um, but you know it's just little things like when I worked at the hospital at my desk I always had like little motivational quotes and pictures up around my desk in my cubicle and when I started working from home at our house in Cartersville and at our apartment in Florida I uh, I always made sure I decorated around my desk and, and kept a lot of little positive like motivational quotes and just like a positive like environment around my work area so now I guess you saw from the video we don't have anything up on the wall so we don't really have I mean we have our furniture and our clothes in there but there's really nothing that belongs to us that's in the house and so you know you just you kind of miss your things and and we do and sometimes I mean, that might sound a little weird and selfish because you know it's just things it's material things but I kind of feel like my life has just been a constant revolving door of everything I own being put in storage. Um, when Ryan was like 18 months old, our home was hit in a tornado and everything that we were able to salvage from the house um, went into storage while they did repairs on the house and we had to have temporary, you know, housing, temporary placement set up. Then when Brianna was nine months old, her first Christmas, we were getting all ready for her first Christmas. She was born in March and she was nine months old. And on December the 6th, right before Christmas, um, our house, we suffered a house fire. And everything that we were able to salvage from the house at that time went into storage while they had to repair our house and um, then I went through a really really ugly and bitter divorce several years ago and maybe I stayed with my mom for a little while and during that time everything I owned went into storage for a while and I only really just got everything I own out of a storage unit that I pay for um, just the year before last right before we went to Florida and the whole time we were in Florida I didn't have anything in storage so now I'm just I'm right back you know with this transition you know we didn't plan to come back from Florida when we did but then you know, the opportunity came up and we moved on it so we weren't you know really financially ready or mentally ready to um, to come up here and move so you know during this transition time while we're staying with Ryan and Teresa everything is in storage and I just I guess some days I just kind of get to the point to where I want life to just back off like I want life to stop knocking me on my ass and like just kicking me you know like I want life to just stop kicking me down like I want to have my things and my life and I want to be okay and I mean I know they say the things that don't kill you make you stronger and you know things happen for a reason and I know they do I, I, I'm I love being with my family. I love getting to see the kids every day and I love getting to, to babysit them and spend so much time with them. But, you know, it's just, I just wanna get settled, you know? I don't know, that's crazy, but that's just kinda how I feel right now is I just kinda wanna be settled somewhere because even though I love being there and I love being around the kids, I know that the agreement that, you know, Ron and them made the offer for us to come up here, that was only temporary. And, you know, and I know that this placement is only temporary and I just, 
I'm just tired of always being in a temporary situation, you know? Does that make sense? Like, I just want to be settled. That's crazy, but that's just kind of how I feel sometimes. Plus, this whole seasonal affect disorder is really driving me crazy. Like, I don't think I've ever suffered seasonal depression the way I am right now. And I know a lot of it has to do with things going on. Like, I'm still in this Dern rental car because my car was hit, the Camaro was hit on the 18th of November. And it's the 24th of, 21st of December and I still have not seen my car since the 18th. Like, it literally happened right here in front of the Kroger parking lot up there on the road. And that's the last time I saw my car. So, I miss my car. I miss my things. And I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of days that I really miss that sunset down in Florida. It was really nice. But, it'll be okay. Today is the winter solstice. It's the shortest day of the year. After today, the days are going to start getting longer, and I think what's going to help me more than anything is to get out of the house during the daylight. Like, today's the first day all week that I've really been out of the house when it wasn't dark, and it's cloudy and rainy and gloomy, so of course, <laughs> I don't know when's the last time I've seen the sunshine, and that's, that's bad, but anyway... This is kind of an update on our uh, one room living and how things are going with us and kind of an update on the seasonal affect disorder that I seem to be having this year worse than any other time in my life. But anyway, if you have made it to the end of this video, as always, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.